Many learners are obsessed with practicing their English. Because their focus is on practice, these learners search desperately for conversation partners. Yet by insisting that others correct their mistakes or offer English advice, these learners usually drive away native speakers who could otherwise be happy to chat with them. And this is why, guys, you must not try to practice English with native speakers, at least in the early stages. Instead of practicing, you know, simply focus on being a true friend. Communicate without focusing on the English language. Talk about your shared interests. Ask questions and listen to their answers. Just try to show your appreciation and understanding. In other words, treat them just as you would a friend who speaks your own language. And one of the best ways to do this is to meet people who share a common passion. For example, if you love movies, you can join online forums dedicated to movie lovers. Join international fan clubs dedicated to your favorite movies or musicians. Connect with others who share a hobby with you. When you communicate with these people, don't, don't talk about the grammar. Don't ask for the correction. Talk about your shared passion. Never ask them to correct your English. Don't apologize for your English. Don't ask for any English advice at all. They are not your English teacher. They are your friends. And you will learn far more by just chatting with them than by trying to make them your personal tutor. Because guys, error correction is useless anyway. The meta research study at the University of the South Southern California found that the error correction has no impact at all on spoken English. In other words, students whose verbal errors were corrected showed no improvement. And they were similar to students who, who were not corrected. So the conclusion is that verbal error correction is useless. And in fact, it's even worse than useless. The error correction harms you by forcing you to constantly think about the grammar. And instead of focusing on communicating your ideas, you increasingly focus on just the, uh, the, the, the language itself. So doing so usually is a more anxiety, which you know, we know that it slows your learning and harms your performance. And this is why you must never ask a teacher or a friend to correct your spoken English. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of their time and yours. Error correction also, you know, like I think it poisons your relationship, relationship with English speakers and drive them away. And this stress is difficult one for many learners. Yet the research is clear, guys. You will get no benefit from having your spoken errors corrected. Yeah, writing is different here, like because it's a slow process that you can be done. Uh, it can be done, sorry, consciously and method methodically. But rather than ask for error correction, ask others to avoid correcting your errors. If you pay a conversation partner, yeah, you can just ask them to avoid correcting your mistakes. If they notice an error, ask them to simply um, restate the idea using correct English. By hearing your idea restated correctly, you will intuitively learn to improve without thinking consciously about English. Good luck. Mm -hmm.